Hi everyone, it's been a while since you've seen these two decks on this channel, right? Lately I've been using the Tarot del Fuego, which is not on the table. This one, which is the Wandering Star by Cat Pierce, which I might use today, but I'm weary because um, apparently I now have to go through all of my decks that have any kind of animated nudity on it. I mean, like really PG kind of nudity. Uh, for example, the world's card um, usually shows a woman, a naked woman. It's not like anything sexually explicit, but nonetheless, YouTube apparently now demonetizes for that and um what's crazy is that i the last video that i posted which i never post readings like this was about picking up on somebody doing spell work on somebody else and dark entities and such and there are a lot of readers that post those kind of readings like fear mongering and and all that stuff i never do that like, I don't remember the last time I ever picked up a message like that. Maybe, like, two years ago. I kid you not. So, I pick up on something like that. I'm picking up on it, trust me. But of all readings, that's the one that YouTube realized that the world's card here in this deck has animated um, boobs. <laughs> It's just whatever. And they demonetize. Yes, I know it sounds crazy because the word demonetize has the word demon in it. The video, even if it plays ads, which someone said, oh, but it's still playing ads. That's crazy because they demonetize it for me. Like I'm not made. They, so it's crazy that they demonetized it and still playing ads. I mean, somebody may, is still making money off of it. And what they did was like they demonetized it for me as like that, that was my penalty and they made it 18 plus, which a lot of people, for whatever reason, it didn't even let them see it. And I'm not surprised. So I've been using this deck, for those of you that are not new, for a while on this channel now. And YouTube never picked up on it. Of all readings for YouTube to flag and do all that to, it was that one. It was the one about spell work. It was the one about somebody sending blockages your way. I like that holy confirmation, you know, like that, that to me was, it's wild how they confirm because you can't make it up. Cause like the message didn't, something was trying to stop the message from coming out. It's still there. You can view it, but apparently you have to, um, set your settings to 18 plus or regardless it's demonetized. You might notice that one has a lot less views than other ones. It's because of the algorithm. So when they do that, so this is going to affect me for a while now on YouTube. I'm just sharing this with you. So if you guys can do me a favor and like, just like this video, comment down below. Even if you don't want to comment, even if you comment multiple times, just an emoji each time, like comment five hearts down below, like five individual comments, you know, whatever, like f spam me down below. That'll help out my channel so much. Cause you know what happens when they do things like that? They mess up the algorithm. They flag you. And what they do is we get paid through ad revenue. That's how we get paid by you watching at least 30 seconds of an ad. So if, when things like this happen, the advertisers get a flag like that I have inappropriate content. So they stop really wanting to put ads on my video or, or, or help it, you know, and they stop the algorithm messes up as such where they stop um, circulating the video. So if it doesn't get circulated, less people watch it because it's not being pushed on YouTube. Even if this one's not demonetized, like they already put me on that list. So now it's a whole other process, I'm telling you. So I brought out, I have not brought out these two decks in a while. Lightseers and the Wild Unknown. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, well damn, thanks. This is confirmation. They're trying to, the divine's telling me not to worry about it. See, the Six of Wands is public victory. It's somebody on a stage, okay, speaking publicly. 
the five of pentacles or maybe you know this they're just confirming that um of the actual situation the five of pentacles is the process of losing money demonetization it's you speaking in public and then being demonetized <laughs> oh that's crazy don't you love that's the way of saying like we're here you know we're here they do things like that just to confirm their presence off the bat and i know that was five minutes that um, you know was probably way too long but um i had to put it out there i did do a ritual for everyone after that because the energy was funky divine tell me about that rich ritual oh my god i did do a ritual for you guys there <laughs> The high priestess is your intuition, it's divine knowledge, it's connection to the spirit world. So anything revolving the spirit world, doing rituals, using your power, that would be the high priestess. And I did do it in solitude, hermit, seeking the light for everybody. But this is just also asking you, even though I did a ritual for the collective, okay, to try to break that, whatever spell work that was, I still recommend you do it, do one on your own too please what do we have going on now okay so this is a love reading there must have been some kind of blockage between you and somebody and i think it was related to whatever dark energy was attached to you was affecting this relationship there is somebody That's thinking about coming forward passionately, romantically in your life. This could be somebody new. This could be somebody from the past. If this person, if they look like this, would, it, would be even crazier, right? This one has a sleeve tattoo. It doesn't have to, but you get the point, right? He's sitting there with flowers, a picnic on the ground. Somebody's been watching you. Somebody has some kind of commitment on the mind or making things right. Somebody wants a new beginning passionately. The thing is, the Two of Wands, the Two of Wands is the energy of planning. This could be somebody at a distance or watching you from a distance. Okay? She has a globe there and a picture of like a a van with a surfboard at the bottom. She's looking out. I'm picking up two things. This is somebody either at a distance that's still in the planning phase on how to come forward, or this is little. Okay, <laughs> I just heard. I just heard this song in my mind. I always feel like somebody's watching me, and I got no privacy. Oh, because the page of swords is communication. The page of swords is text messages, DM, social media, things like that. So this could be somebody, I'm sorry, let me wiggle this. This could be somebody watching you through those means, okay? But this could also be, she's reading a book here. This could also be you minding your business. While you're minding your business, like somebody's watching you. They're watching you on social media, watching you. I'm not really a big fan of people watching you through the window. I mean, like, let's be serious. That's freaking creepy as hell. <laughs> But sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you can't help it. For example, like where I live, I'm big on privacy, but there's windows everywhere. And I just, I, I just see everybody's life and everybody can see mine or hear it, okay? And I keep wiggling. I hate to do this on, on like while I'm recording. I hope that fixed it, but it's been crooked this entire time. And I think it still is, but we're just going to rock with it. Okay? But here you are minding your business. It's either that or they're waiting to communicate with you, or you're minding your business, waiting for someone to communicate with you, or you're just honestly focusing on yourself because she's learning. The Page of Swords is also learning, seeking truth. She's holding light bulbs here. Like she's trying to enlighten. You're working on your healing. You're reading. You're studying yourself. You know, you're crossing a bridge. You're bettering yourself. 
But while you're doing that, somebody has the hots for you. Somebody's thinking about you intensely. I'm just seeing it. But I don't think that you know this. I think that there's a part of you that's looking out there like, when is it going to be my time? When is it going to be my time to have a different world, to have a different life, to have a relationship? You're here focusing on yourself, reading books, self-help, trying to spiritually awaken. The hermit's here, you know, so you've been on your own trying to enlighten, trying to work on your shadow, doing some shadow work, preparing yourself for the future, preparing yourself for a connection. Things might be very overwhelming right now, so you're just... The energy of her having her eyes closed and just trying to go within, it's like you're trying to calm down because there's a lot that's been going on, right? But there's somebody thinking of you, watching you, sees you as a prospect or someone from the past. I'm going to get more information. You know, I really, yeah. And you, you are not even thinking about this. That's the crazy part. What I was about to say was, you know what? I don't know why I retired. This deck is amazing. Wow. Here's the emperor that just like flew out with the wheel of fortune. I said, I don't know why I retired this deck. This deck is amazing. I'm getting amazing vibes off this deck. Why did I ever put this deck away? The images. This is the Lightseer's Tarot, in case you're wondering. My sister, I, I, you guys know I moved to the Dominican Republic. My sister also came and she surprised me with a bag of decks that I had left in New Jersey. And I'm so excited because I haven't seen them in a while. I've used them before. Some of them I haven't. And it's like Christmas all over again. It's like, you know, like I haven't seen you in so long. I want to use you. The, um, this one was one of them. The, um, the wild unknown. Yeah. But this is where you're at. Look at you. You're in the four of cups, five of cups. You've just about had it. There is a level of melancholy that you have within you. Sadness. Things just haven't been working out for you. You're sad. This is depression. There's a level of depression that you have here. You're just over all the emotional situations that you've been in. Seriously. Like you've... You almost gave up. You almost gave up. I'm getting an energy of, again, you're just focusing on yourself so much because you've given up on the idea that this is even a possibility with someone. But you're in for a surprise. That's what I'm, that's the energy that I'm getting because this Four of Cups, you see these three cups here? This is like three cycles or three romantic relationships that did not work out and you're just over it, right? Do you see a sneaking hand out here offering a cup with a rainbow and you're touching it? You don't even realize you're touching it. A rainbow is a divine light, something divinely guided. So it's like something is manifesting. Something is manifesting. Rom like in, in regards to a romantic cycle for you, but you're not processing it consciously. You're not processing it consciously, but your hand's like involuntarily touching it while this man here, or whoever it is, doesn't have to be a man, has this cup like wanting to offer it. I need to know more. And this is divinely guided. Wheel of Fortune. This is a blessing. This is something happening, setting. I want to know who is this Knight of Cups? Oh, jeez. 
Who's this Nine of Cups? Nine, not Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups. We got the Emperor here, though. Is that that's the Knight of Cups? It's the Emperor. You know, I get the same thing with the Ace of Swords, which is truth, clarity. Your eyes are closed. And you see that light's coming from your head. Right? It's like, so you don't, are not processing it consciously that you're about to enter a connection. But you're sending out a signal and you're receiving a signal from an emperor from afar. So this might not make any sense to you. But there's definitely an emperor, which is someone in masculine energy, that's in your vicinity, that is ready for some kind of a relationship. Who's this Knight of Cups and Emperor? Who is it? I need more information. Ooh. Who's this Knight of Cups and Emperor? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna get, when that happens a lot, they want the other deck, I'm gonna use the other deck. Let's use the Wild Unknown. Seven of Cups. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. The Seven of Cups is like, literally, you don't, you have no idea. And then it's next to the Hierophant. And the Ace of Cups, which try to come out before too. You are not processing the possibility of this brand new beginning at all. Or this, this romantic connection. The Hierophant is a change. And I say that even though, because the Hierophant is the number five. And five numerology signifies change. But the Hierophant is all about commitment. You know? Things being made right. Something based in structure and enlightenment. For some of you, this is somebody from the past, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because now we got the Empress. This is your counterpart. Because the Six of Cups is a return of somebody from the past. This Seven of Cups, which is the confusion, it, what stands out to me in this card is the Six of Cups. But there was one element, there's one, oh, there's only one cup upside down in the center. Cups signify your emotions, your heart space. And I'm sorry that my chihuahua will not stop barking. So this is somebody from the past that you just couldn't get it right with. You just couldn't get it right with. You couldn't get it right with. There was always something upside down within your connection with this person. But somebody has awakened, somebody has gone through some sudden change, somebody has worked on their shadow. I mean, look at all the dark energy in, this, in these um, cards. Aces signify brand new beginnings. What is wrong with my chihuahua that he won't stop? He's howling. If he doesn't stop in two minutes, guys, I'm just going to pause this and, and kindly command him to stop. <laughs> I think he heard me. <laughs> he just stopped. This is quite... Literally, an emperor, which is over here. Coming forward and offering a cup of love to an empress, which would be you. Whether you're male or female, female doesn't matter. Whoever is in predominantly feminine energy. But again, the empress 
card in this deck does not show a female. It shows the tree, like a tree of life. Ancestry tree. But you physically are not present. So I don't think you have any idea of what is manifesting here. Because everything that involves the feminine energy is you like feeling like you're giving up. Kind of sad about a situation, letting things go. Reading books, focusing on yourself, enlightening. Being a hermit. You're the empress here. You're not even there. You might be gardening for all I know. That's a tree. I don't know. I just got that image. Image. I love gardening. Also, because I would be that person. When I'm in this energy, four of cups, five of cups, I tend to do things like that. I like to do physical things. Like, um, buy flowers and trees and plants and plant them in pots. So I love it. That's my thing. I need to know more about the Seven of Cups. Why was there some kind of confusion here? Anxiety. Being left out in the cold. Oh. Oh, these are tough cards. What happened here? What happened here? Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. I know the images on this deck are not the usual. This is the wild unknown. I expect it from this deck. Ooh, look at that mess. Look at this flower dying. Look at this sly fox. The nine, the sly fox, the seven of swords is deception, trickery. Somebody, you feel deceived by somebody, you felt deceived by somebody. You felt like someone was literally got away with something. Left you out in the cold. There was some kind of feeling of loss. Left you wilted. You know? You're... And this is romantic, because when I think about a rose, you think about amorous love. Feelings. Romantic love. Whatever this trickery was. Left you down and left you with anxiety, with a lot of confused thoughts. So you've been spending more of your time, as you can see, where is it? In this page of sword, trying to heal whatever heartbreak this was, whatever you went through, whatever stress you've been through with this person and trying to get on your two feet again and enlighten yourself to become a better person so that you don't ever have to experience this again. Okay. I did ask to confirm what the Seven of Cups was about. Okay. And the Seven of Cups is confusion, delusion. So I feel like there was somebody in your life that you thought was going to be a relationship. They led you to believe that that was going to be it. But you felt tricked by this person because it was just trickery. They left you out in the cold. It was not fertile land. They left you with anxiety. They left you with a lot of thoughts all over the place, not knowing if it was them, if it was you. You feel played by this person. I mean, like straight up. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm asking about the Seven of Cups. So is this other person somebody from the past or is this somebody new, you know, because like, and now we have the Two of Cups, which is the union forming. The Two of Cups is a union. It's a partnership. And the Daughter of Sword, of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. This is passionate communication, flirting, Wanting to create a relationship. Who is this person? This is divine justice. 
that's being brought on to you for going through what you've gone through. What the? It's just like threw itself. Son of Swords. This is the Knight of Swords. And it's going to happen out of nowhere. Honestly. I think this is somebody new. And then I get the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a union. It's a partnership. There's a union forming here. We have the Two of Cups. The, the, like Basically, this is divine justice. There is a union forming here. I just... Why are they not being... Is this somebody from the past or somebody new? Strength. King of Wands. This is somebody that has it together, that knows what they want. It says goals, potential success, that it's able to stick with their goals, have a goal in mind. They, they date with goals. Because I'm getting that whoever you were talking to before is somebody that couldn't stick to a goal, right? Um, it was always a talking phase or something. It was, it was not intentional, okay? Because they didn't even know who they were, so they couldn't give, they couldn't connect with you in the level of knowing who you are or, or what to offer you, okay? But whoever this person is, I'm getting for the most, for most of you, this is somebody new. This is somebody that's been there, done that, has a lot of honor, has standards they don't date for no reason like when they have their eye on somebody they're dating to marry i want them to show me what do you want me to know about this person from the past though we got the ten of cups it fell in reverse though yeah look Look, they're confirming. This person in the past, Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, again, is the second time that we get the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords to talk about the person from the past. So they're just confirming it straight up that the person from the past is the person with the Seven of Swords energy. This person from the past acted like they wanted to create a Ten of Cups with you a family, a union, and it all, it was all, they were, it was trickery, whether intentional or not, they didn't know who the hell they are, I find, I don't care, anybody, you, you're not a baby, okay, you know when you can carry something out or not, okay, this person didn't have intention on any of the things that you, that they knew that you wanted, but they kept you around, ended up in struggle, hardship, loss, anxiety, and worry, And is this person going to return or hold on? No, I, I'm, they're telling me that the Fool card is a brand new beginning with the Two of Cups here, which is the partnership. Don't you love how they're confirming by literally bringing the same cards out? The, uh, with the Hierophant, which also came out, that this Hierophant, this union, this person that wants to create this partnership with you, this brand new beginning, is literally... It's somebody new. The full card is somebody new. It's somebody new. And it's going to happen tower card out of nowhere. So if I were you, I would start preparing your myself mentally. To allow space for this. Somebody is going to offer you the Ace of Cups. And this is happening suddenly. Okay, I'm going to keep this one light. There's literally somebody watching you. This could be at work. This could be at home. I don't know. But I wouldn't close myself off to it. Love and light. Guys, I'm, I'm still working on the... Um, 
on the rituals and all and the uh, readings for those of you that booked in the last like week and a half I've, I've been announcing it everybody knows that they're delayed everyone else will be okay um, but I'm gonna be uploading them in the next you know day or two all right I've been working on it all week and I want to thank you for your patience love and light